welcome back we are back here right back here on this couch my big comfy couch here at Cena's dolls and who you all are looking at in the camera view is baby king this is king you guys have not seen baby king in a while and he is the stanley oliver scope and um, he is sculpted by Chenza Dolls. And his artist is um, Love's Reborn Nursery. Love's Reborn Nursery. And um, yes, we're going to do this a changing video with him. And then you guys see Treasure Marie. She is still here with us. She is um, just going to stick around um, while I make this video. I just posted a video of treasure marie and my last video if you guys have not seen that one is right before this one go check it out now king here and i named him king because he is the king of my nursery he is look at him he is also a replica of a baby that has um down syndrome and it says you can see here he also have his um his little tongue out as well and look, so both of them are replicas of babies with um, Down syndrome. And he is also a limited edition kit, kit as well. And I'm so happy to have him in my nursery. And look at, he has a head full of gorgeous hair. He does. And he reminds me of my son. My son had hair as a boy, like, like this, as a baby boy. He had so much hair. So I keep his hair in a cute little Afro style. He's going to say hello to his godmommy, Mandy, over at Mandy's Cuddlebug Nursery. That's his godmommy over there. So he is saying hello to her. So he has, he still has on this vintage sleeper that he had on the last time you guys see him. It's a Mickey Mouse Disney sleeper. So I'm going to change him out of this and I'm going to change him and something more modern he's gonna have on this cute jumper and it has um it's gray with different colored dinosaurs and it's cute because it has a cute little hood and it's sleeveless it doesn't have any sleeves and then i'm going to put him on these cute little white socks that came in my box opening um with my twyla scope from mandy so yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get started. And in this video, I'm also going to do a tag that I created, that I'm creating now, actually. And it's a, it's a fun, nice um, summer tag. So I'm also going to do that. So let me go ahead and get started with his changing. He has this white onesie underneath. I'm going to leave his white onesie on. I'm not going to um take it off or anything like that and leave on his cute little tractor he has like a little tractor um diaper or pamper on i'm going to leave that on him all right okay so the tag my tag is going to be and it's a little fun nice little um summer tag and it is what was what were your childhood go to meals in the summertime okay i think it's the tag is going to be childhood go to meals or childhood meals <laughs> i don't want the, the i don't want the title to be too long um but i think it's going to be childhood meals okay now these meals are um meals that you've created it's when in the summertime when your mom or your dad or your grandma or whoever was taking care of you that summer said, I'm not cooking today. Y'all going to have to find you something to eat. <laughs> okay, so you had to go in the kitchen and cook your own meal. It could be like, it could be breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to start. You could um, choose to say, you could choose one meal. You could choose a couple of meals that were your go-to summer meals. Okay, one of mine um, was peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but it was stacked peanut butter and jelly sandwich. 
what I mean by that is you have your layer, you have your bread, then you have your layer of peanut butter, and then you have jelly on the other slice of bread. You put that together, and then you get another um, piece of bread and put a layer of peanut butter on that one, and then um, get another um, piece of bread, put jelly on that one, and then you'll get like some chips. I would get some plain Lay's potato chips and put it in there. <laughs> sandwich. Yes, and the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And like stack it up and then I would cut it. Cut it in like four pieces. So that was like a stacked peanut butter and jelly like chip sandwich. And then I have a um, big cup of Kool-Aid. We used to drink Kool-Aid a lot um, back in the day, especially at my aunt's house. Now my mom, she didn't give us Kool-Aid. We weren't allowed to have Kool-Aid at my mom's when we uh when we were home but when we went to go visit my cousins they always had kool-aid they always had kool-aid in the refrigerator um and we had to take turns making the kool-aid too <laughs> so i would eat something like that at my um at my cousin's house or at my, my my aunt's house so stacked peanut butter and chip sandwich was one of them another go-to meal would be noodles those ramen noodles, the ones in the pack, I know everybody know about those ramen noodles. Don't act like you don't, and you know you do. So we had to have those ramen noodles, and I will cook mine, and then I will chop up some um, hot dogs, some turkey hot dogs, and um, put it in the noodles. <laughs> so ramen, ramen noodles with, um, with chopped hot dogs. So that was one. So that would be like probably like a dinner or a lunch um, meal. The peanut butter jelly sandwich would probably be lunch. And then for a snack at home with my mom, we all, she always had popcorn, but it wasn't the microwave popcorn. It was the, the plain like kettle corn. And you had to pop it um, with a like a, a, a um, popcorn. Well, she, my mom, she used to know how to pop popcorn on in a pot really popcorn the little kettles in a pot so she used to pop us popcorn and then she got um later on she got a um popcorn maker that you put the kettles in and then it pops it like air pop it so we used to always have popcorn so what i used to do with that is when i learned how to pop popcorn i pop my popcorn and then i'll um get this like some butter and heat it up on the stove and then spread it all over the popcorn and then I would get seasoned salt and seasoned it with seasoned salt and then I would go get the hot sauce and sprinkle hot sauce on it <laughs> and put it in like a big um, brown lunch bag you guys remember those those lunch bags those brown lunch bags put it in the brown lunch bags and just shake it up everything together and that would be my snack <laughs> That would be my snack right there. Would be that um, that seasoned hot sauce popcorn, the old fashioned popcorn, not the microwave, not the microwave popcorn. All right, and then another one would be um, we used to eat, we used to make rice, like white rice, but we'll put sugar in it, so it was like sugar rice. I used to love sugar rice, and that must be like a Midwest thing. We ate that in Ohio because when I came to to um, Georgia, nobody knew about sugar rice. They thought that was so nasty. Um, <laughs> my friends were like, what? Sugar rice? What is that? So um, they didn't know anything about that down south. But in the Midwest and Ohio, we ate, um, everybody knew about, about that sugar rice. Put sugar in the rice, white rice. So that's it. That's it. That's all, you guys, about the tag. I just was thinking about that the other day. And I said that would be a fun tag to do. Um, it's just your summer go-to meals. You guys, let me know what meals you guys used to come up with or create in the summertime when you were a kid. And, um, and this is a meal that, that you could make on your own. That had, um, you know, that you had to make when your parent was said that they're not making anything. You were on your own. You had to find 
what you were going to make or it could be a favorite snack that you um, put together um, anything like that just let me know that's just a fun um, a fun summer tag that I wanted to add to the tags that were going around uh, for this summer so let me know and it's I'm going to post what the title of it is in my um, in my title and again that is your favorite childhood meal but it's the ones that you came up with the ones that you that you made for yourself okay so let me know all right king is sitting here he looks so adorbs and this too i got this from mandy in her um in the box opening for the twyla and this is cute because this is this is an eyebrow brush and it has a brush on one side and a comb. So since he has rooted eyebrows, I'm going to use this on his eyebrows. And what I used in his hair is that solution I got from her. This solution that came in, in uh, my Twilight's box. And then this is just plain water here. So, yeah. And he looks so handsome. I love this afro on him. Let's see how he looks. How it looks in the back. Luxious curls. His his hair is really um really curly. It's not like a tight tight curl. It's similar to um Treasure Marie's um hair hair type that she has. So they are true siblings. Hey, yes, yes, yes. So I think, let me see if I should button this up or leave it out. <laughs> so it's three buttons. I think I might. I guess it's okay to have that button. But let me see how this hood looks. Oh, he looks so cute. <laughs> he looks so cute in his hood. Look at this little hoodie. Uh, and then his little legs. His little feet. I think I'm going to keep his feet out. I was going to put him on these little socks because they're so cute and little. Um, And they'll go with his little white onesie underneath. Let me see how it looks. But I might keep it off. I might keep it off. Let's see. Let's see. Move these out the way. But yeah, so when I get a, um, a box opening to have stuff, I use it. I use all the items on um, on the babies. Oh, I might leave him on these socks. I use everything, and I'm appreciative appreciative of everything that I get. Look, <laughs> look how adorable he is, you all. He's just so cute. I love him with this little. Pretty on. Ain't that cute? All right, you all. So that's it's the end of the video. He looks so cute in his outfit. <laughs> I am doting over here. Say hello. Say hello, mama. <laughs> all right, you all. This is the end of the video with these two cuties here. Now, um, as always, you all stay blessed because you are. Be safe out there and we will be back for another video.